morning from Glendowick. Mid-May is the time that the evergreen azaleas start doing their thing. The great thing about evergreen azaleas is that flowering a little bit later than the dwarf rhododendrons, they tend to avoid the frost that we had a couple of weeks ago. So they're all opening pretty well now. One of the things you'll notice if you come to Glendowick is that we bred many of the evergreen azaleas that are available here. And the reason that we did this was that we found most of the evergreen azaleas that were widely available didn't like the Scottish climate very much. You can tell which ones are Scottish bred or Glendoic bred by the names. The first group are the mammals. We have one of, one of them here. This is Pine Martin. I think this was about number 12 in the series. Uh, and the mammal series are panda, wombat, squirrel, lemur, arctic fox, and so on. I think there's about 15 of them now. Another one here, bred at Glendowick is called Glendowick Goblin. We raised another series with double flowers like this one has. And this one here is Glendowick Rosebud with the double pale pink flowers. A new development are these strap petaled azaleas. This one here is called Koromo Shikubu. And as you can see, it has these very narrow petals. We found that although it did well in a sheltered garden, it wasn't really hardy enough for widespread cultivation. So we've started breeding strap petaled azaleas. This is the first one here. You can see the very, very narrow petals on it. This is so new, we haven't actually got around to thinking of a name for it yet. We're just testing it. But the last two years, it's been a really good uh, performer. So we are probably going to name that. that we have done very well with in Scotland, a group of German ones with Russian sounding exotic names. This one here is particularly fine called Canzanetta with double pink flowers. And finally, this one here called Marushka. And it's particularly good as all, it has fine red flowers, but it also has really dark foliage in the winter time. So what do evergreen azaleas need in the garden? Moist, but well-drained soil. Acidic, but then most soil in Scotland is naturally acidic. Or peaty soil, you can always use a little bit of peat or ericaceous compost when you plant them. And they need a fair amount of sun. If you plant them in a shady place, they'll grow all right, but they won't flower like this. So the more sun you give them, the better they do. Um, and uh, you should get an absolute mat of flower like this uh, every year. We have one bargain azalea on the go at the moment. This amazing frilly petticoat-like azalea is called Elsie Lee and it's on special offer at $8.99, normally $11.99. So if you want a bargain, that's the one to go for this year. Mm -hmm.